All right, let's talk about VO 3.1, because if you've tried generating videos with AI and felt like the results didn't match what was in your head, the problem usually isn't the model, it's the prompt. VO 3.1 isn't just another video generator. It works more like a director that listens carefully, but only if you talk to it the right way. And once you understand how to prompt it properly, the quality jump is massive. Forget boring theory and forget copying and pasting. We're gonna get our hands dirty with a secret formula for perfect prompts. By the end of this, you won't just be generating videos, you'll be directing them. Ready to make some magic? Let's roll. All right, first things first, the key to unlocking VO is structure. Random words get you random results, but a structured prompt, that gets you exactly what's in your head. Think of it as a five ingredient recipe. Get all five right and you're cooking up a masterpiece every single time. Cinematography, plus subject, plus action, plus context, plus style. First up is cinematography. This is you playing director of photography. How is the camera moving? Is it a sweeping wide shot or an intense close up? Next, you need your subject. Who or what is the star of your show? A brave knight, a curious robot, a talking cat? Then give them something to do with the action. Are they discovering a lost city or just sipping coffee? After that, you build the world around them with context. This is your set design. Are they in a neon-drenched cyberpunk city or a peaceful sunlit meadow? And finally, the secret sauce, style and ambiance. This is the mood, the lighting, the vibe. Is it a gritty film noir, a vibrant anime, or a grainy 1970s home movie? When you put it all together, you get pure magic. Forget the boring office worker example you've seen everywhere. Let's create something new, something fun. Watch this. A slow, dramatic zoom-in shot, focusing on a grizzled space merchant, haggling over a glowing, mysterious artifact inside a bustling, neon-lit alien bazaar on a rainy night. The air is thick with steam, and holographic ads flicker erratically. Cyberpunk aesthetic, hyper-realistic, cinematic lighting. Boom. Can you see it? You're not just saying a guy in a market. You've defined the camera move, the character, what he's doing, the entire environment, and the exact visual style. That's the difference between a random clip and a story. Now that you have the formula, let's level up your vocabulary. You're the director, the cinematographer, and the sound designer now, so you need to speak the language. Let's talk cinematography. Don't just say camera moves, be specific. You wanna create a huge sense of scale? Tell VO you want a sweeping drone shot that starts close on a classic convertible driving down a coastal highway, then pulls back to reveal the vast sparkling ocean and a dramatic cliffside. You can even add golden hour lighting, warm and nostalgic feel to set the mood. Instantly, you've directed a gorgeous car commercial. Or what if you want to get up close and personal to make the audience feel something? You can use focus to your advantage. Try something like this. An extreme close-up of a chef's hands, meticulously plating a delicate dessert. The background is a soft, blurry kitchen, creating a shallow depth of field that makes the food look like a work of art. Moody, dramatic lighting. See how that shallow depth of field makes the scene feel so much more intimate and professional? And here's where VO 3.1 really changes the game. You're also the sound director. You can bake dialogue, sound effects, and ambient noise right into your prompt. It's incredible. You can literally write a mini script. Imagine this. A detective slams his fist on the table. SFX, loud bang. He says in a gravelly voice, I know you're lying. Ambient noise, rain tapping against the window pane. I know. You are lying. In one sentence, you've created a full immersive audiovisual scene. It's a total game changer. Okay, you've mastered single prompts. You're feeling dangerous. Now it's time to graduate to the big leagues with multi-step workflows. This is how you create longer, more complex scenes with unparalleled control. This first technique is perfect for creating a seamless transition or a controlled camera move. You basically give VO the start and end point and it fills in the incredible journey between them. Let's try a fantasy sci-fi mashup. First, you'd use an image generator like Gemini to create your starting frame. Your prompts could be, a medieval knight in full plate armor stands before a shimmering magical portal in a dark ancient forest. Photorealistic fantasy art style. Next, you create the ending frame, the destination. The same knight, now standing in the middle of a futuristic city with flying vehicles and towering chrome skyscrapers. The portal is closing behind him. 
Now for the magic. You feed both images into VO's first and last frame feature and give it the director's notes. The knight confidently steps through the portal. The camera follows him, transitioning smoothly from the dark forest to the bright, futuristic city. SFX, a magical whoosh as he passes through, followed by the hum of futuristic traffic. VO will generate that entire impossible shot for you. Mind blown. Ever want to create a dialogue scene but struggle to keep your characters looking consistent? The ingredients to video feature is your solution. You give VO reference images, your ingredients for your characters and setting, and it keeps them consistent across multiple shots. So let's set up a classic film noir scene. First, you generate your ingredients, a gritty detective, a mysterious femme fatale, and a dimly lit smoky office. Now, you direct the scene shot by shot. For shot one, you prompt, using the reference images, create a shot where the detective leans back in his chair, shadows covering half his face. He takes a long drag from his cigarette and says in a very weary voice, trouble is your business and business looks good. Then, for the reverse shot, you keep the same ingredients but change the prompt. Using the same references, create a close-up on the woman. She doesn't flinch, just raises a single eyebrow and replies with a faint smirk, you have no idea. Trouble is your business, and business looks good. You have no idea. Just like that, you've directed a two-shot dialogue scene with perfect character consistency. All right, this is it, the god tier technique. Timestamp prompting lets you direct an entire multi-shot sequence in a single generation. You break down the action into timed segments. This is maximum efficiency, maximum control. Let's direct a mini heist movie in eight seconds. Are you kidding me? With one single prompt, you've just directed a four-shot sequence complete with camera changes, specific actions, sound effects, and even a musical score. That is the power you now have at your fingertips. And that is a wrap. We've gone from the basic five-ingredient formula to directing entire multi-shot sequences with sound and music. You now have the framework to go out there and direct VO 3.1 with absolute precision. The only limit is your imagination. Now, I want to hear from you. What's the first cinematic masterpiece you're going to create with these techniques? Drop your wildest ideas in the comments below. If this guide blew your mind, do me a huge favor and smash that like button, subscribe to Uprising AI, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the AI revolution.